We're still a ways off from Mass Effect Andromeda, but thanks to E3, we now know a whole lot more. GameRanks is bringing you everything you need to know about Mass Effect Andromeda. So first off, we know Ryder's name. We also know what our default female configuration looks like. We don't know what our default male one looks like, but there is some very interesting speculation floating around right now. Instead of the character simply being male or female depending on what you pick, many people out there are thinking that they're brother and sister. And there's some Something particularly cool about that on account we've seen an N7 person in trailers that was for a while rumored to be Ryder and then for a while rumored to be a villain. What if it's both? What if you make your character and the other sibling ends up being the villain? Oh yes. See I would like that. I could see myself getting into that quite a bit. It brings some sort of personal turmoil to the mission that wouldn't be there otherwise. Remember this is a different galaxy. You don't exactly know anybody here. Or whichever sibling you don't choose could also even just be on your crew. Who knows? It it doesn't just stop with siblings though, there's an entire Ryder family. That means siblings, parents, I would assume a crazy uncle who's drunk at Thanksgiving. The list is probably going to go on. We know that you'll take Ryder on a mission to another galaxy to find a suitable home for humanity. We don't know exactly what's transpired, but we do know that when Bioware Edmonton Chief Yannick Roy was asked about the role of the hero in the story, whether or not they'll be a soldier, an archaeologist, or an explorer, his response was simply that it will be vast, the role will be versatile and that the mission itself to find a new home for humanity necessitates that the leader be a lot more than a soldier, an archaeologist, or an explorer. So, a little vague, but it hints that the gameplay could be incredibly varied over the course of the experience. Speaking of your experience, it will not be affected by the decisions you made at the end of the Mass Effect trilogy. Now, I know some people react to that with a little bit of an eye roll. Being that same type of a thing made a lot of people very angry over Mass Effect 3, but I think if you give them a moment to explain Explain it makes a lot of sense. Bioware creative director Mac Walters says you can probably infer a degree of the timing when the Andromeda explorers left based on the fact that your decisions at the end of Mass Effect 3 do not affect this game. Which is very interesting because that means they could have technically left before the entire trilogy or they could have left during the Reaper War. My personal guess would be not long after the Reapers attacked Earth because stuff went seriously wrong for humanity right there there. You're going to be flying in a ship called the Tempest, which is just absolutely the most Mass Effect looking thing that they could possibly come up with. And it's going to remind you of the Normandy, combined with some of the smaller ships if you ask me. Now straight out of Mac Walter's mouth, there is not going to be space combat in this game. The only vehicle you're going to directly control is going to be the Mako. We also got a view of what appears to be a freighter or possibly a troop transport, some new smaller ships, I'm assuming fighters, and most importantly the Ark. The Ark's are very interesting on account they kind of look like the citadel itself a bit as opposed to mirroring the architecture any of the various species at least ones that we're aware of so is the architecture copied is it parts from the citadel and assuming like i said they left around the time of the reapers hitting earth I'd say copied architecture is maybe a little more likely. They don't really have any citadel debris lying around to make arcs with. So arcs means lots of people, meaning they were kind of desperate. This is saving humanity and some other species as well, probably fan favorites. But if it's anywhere nearly the size of the citadel or at least even comparable, we can assume that there are massive amounts of people in this game. Some people are speculating the center of it is a crucible and that it's essentially firing a crucible as an engine. But given what the crucible is, I don't know, it seems a little bit too unique to be using as an engine. Now I wouldn't rule it out on account weirder things have existed in the Mass Effect universe. It just seems really out there for me that they'd build crucibles to use as propulsion. It's like using uranium in your car. As far as species that will make an appearance, we know with absolute certainty that there will be at least Krogans and Salarians because, well, we've seen them on the deck of the Tempest. But other than that, they've been very light on exactly what type of of alien species we are going to be seeing in the game. My guess is that they kind of want things to be a surprise or they want to reveal them at an opportune time. Obviously you need to shovel coal into the hype train at the right time, otherwise you'll risk overburning it, short supplying yourself early. Bioware says there's going to be more information in the fall and then it's going to be continuous until the game releases, meaning they have a plan and there's a reason why we we're kept in the dark a little bit. But that makes it hard for me not to think about the fact that Really, the characters in Mass Effect Andromeda themselves are kind of kept in the dark. They're headed to a new galaxy, and there's a possibility they don't know what went down in Mass Effect 3. In fact, I would say it's 
pretty much certain that the last third of Mass Effect 3 will never be canonized. Keep in mind, they did go to a new galaxy to find a new home for humanity, and that makes the assumption that that galaxy was going to be destroyed. So the viewpoint they may be coming from is, well, it's almost certain the Reapers destroyed the Milky Way. Even though we know that's not the case, no matter what, Mass Effect 3 ended with the Reapers not being a threat in some way, shape, or form. When everybody awakens out of cryostasis or whatever it is that they are in, between the Milky Way and the Andromeda Galaxy, the distance is insurmountable by human years. Even Mass Effect's FTL travel, which does move faster than light, it still is going to be somewhere between 400 and 500 years after Mass Effect 3 and I would assume that you've been asleep for most of that. It seems like the game is going to start on Earth, presumably to provide an explanation, and because we've seen a heavily populated planet that looks a lot like Earth, given we're less than a year off from the game's supposed release, we've been given an astoundingly small amount of information. I mean, don't get me wrong, I love the speculating, but I also do like to know something. Bioware does know what they're doing with hype, though. They know just when to give you small amounts of info and just when to dump it on you. Because even though I didn't really learn a whole lot, I have to say Mass Effect Andromeda's E3 showing got me hyped up again. I mean, in all seriousness, it's Mass Effect. We got to see some of our favorite races. As I mentioned, it's pretty certain that a Krogan and a Salarian are on your crew, but we also saw an Asari who could be a member of your crew or may just be along for the ride. We aren't really completely certain. This crew also is younger, which is reflective of the game as a whole, whereas the original trilogy was about defending what you already know. This is about seeing stuff that you haven't before. And I think it's hard not to get excited for that. We'll be covering Mass Effect in depth as we get more information. So make sure you stick by Game Ranks for that. We'll meet you in the comments for an overload of speculation as well. If you enjoyed this video, please click the like button. And if you're not subscribed, now is a great time to do so. We upload brand new videos every single day of the week. And the best way to see them first is of course a subscription. As always, we thank you so much for watching this video. I'm Falcon. You can follow me on Twitter at FalconTheHero. And we will see you next time right here on Game Ranks.